All right, now let's talk about some vocabulary and keywords that you should be familiar with. And we're going to detail this out, you know, as the course progresses and the need arises. Uh, when it makes natural sense, we'll kind of deep dive into it. But there are some, let's say, key words uh, or vocabulary that you should be aware of. Okay, so what is it? So when we talk about the time, of which is to say speed or latency, and this could be for addition, initialization, it could be for you know removal, all of the operations that we do. You could reason about any of the operation and then talk about the speed or latency or time it takes to complete. And the second thing would be uh, for the space. So how much memory is it going to take to again, you know, add something, remove something, search for something. There can be certain costs in terms of space, oh, sorry, in terms of space and in terms of time. So then these are formally named as complexities. So you have time or space complexity. What we are referring to is, hey, could you give me a number in terms of how the space grows or shrinks, the demand for space grows or shrinks as we perform different operations? And then also, can you reason about you know, the time it takes to complete the given operation? That is what we call the time complexity. And the space complexity has to do with, okay, given this operation, how much space am I going to lose or gain? Right. So that's one. And now, uh, when we are talking about either time or space complexity, uh, there are three other keywords, which is the best number, the average, and the worst number. And what you'll notice uh, as you know the course progresses is that we came, uh, we came for, uh, we care for the worst case scenario a lot more right uh, we ca care for the worst case time complexity or the worst case space complexity uh, the most and the reason to that is if we hit that worst case then our system should be able to account for it and if we cannot account for the worst case scenario well then we know that our system is going to in that particular case fail but if it sustains that worst case scenario of you know, data addition, data search, or uh, retrieval, uh, then we know that our system is performant, our data structure is performant. So yes, what we are going to care about is again, the trade-off between speed, which is time, and well, speed actually, speed of access, um, you could argue about that, so time in general, and then the space how much space we need to give away, how much time we are going to uh, need to access, remove, manipulate the data. So it's going to be a trade-off. And then when we talk about the trade-off, we say, hey, what is the worst case bound of the given problem? And then is my data structure and the operations going to comply with that? All right, so without diving into you know, too much details just yet about how to go and you know, compute, um, uh, the worst case, best case, and the average case scenarios, uh, you know, that I'm going to uh, leave for like a discussion during implementation because it naturally makes sense to talk about, okay, given this data structure, uh, how much space are we going uh, asking with each addition, with each subtraction, with initialization? Um, so it just makes natural sense. But what I want to now give away, just so that when you are researching on your own on the internet, uh, things start to make sense, which is this is called the big O notation, the worst case uh, scenario. So when we say, hey, you know, given algorithm or given data structure and this operation on it uh, is like a, a, when we say big O, well, we are simply writing like an O and then within brackets, we express. Um, you know, what is the complexity? And the complexity is essentially some sort of an equation, usually. Sometimes it might be, let's say, O of 1, which means, hey, 
the worst case for a given operation worst case time the given operation takes is o of 1 and 1 is to represent constant so it doesn't matter you know what your data is let's say a given operation addition of the data for example uh, might just take o of 1 meaning that it's a constant time operation you can be certain about how much time it takes it only takes you know few machine cycles for example and it always takes the same amount of cycles same number of cycles so that is for o of 1 to denote constant if and this is again just example you know we are not covering everything just yet uh, the idea is if let's say someone says hey you know a search operation is o of n or o of x or you know some variable here but without any extra powers without any multiplication before it uh, without any division all of that if you just see a simple variable here what that means is hey my search operation is o of n worst case it takes n steps and this n then refers to the number of elements i'll give you an example so let's say we have a data structure which is something like so where you have to go uh, you know linearly look for the data one after the other like a queue maybe a list maybe and so let's say this has got n elements in it and if your search operation requires you uh, for example search you know two and let's say two is right here so and then we have got like four three one five seven and two is right here and these are n numbers so what it means is now to search two you're going to look at every element linearly and in the worst case two is at the very end and you find it and so you had to do like n matches the the end comes from the fact that if i add one more let's say behind this 21 or 20 and now if i'm to search for 20 well i'm going to search through all the elements of that data structure and that's where the worst case time is coming from again this is just an example so what goes here within the uh, parenthesis that conveys the complexity and the big o notation essentially means the worst case complexity that's about it all right so i think this should be enough for now um, we are always going to make trade-off between speed and storage our job is to come up with like optimize with least space more speed um, and then the in terms of the keywords that i want you to remember is the the keyword complexity and complexity then are of three type uh, in the best case average case the worst case the worst case is what we usually care for and then uh, the big O notation essentially is a way to convey the complexity and that's about it and so now what we can do is go ahead and start implementing the data structures reason about them and then talk about the big O notations the space and the time complexities all right so with this i'll see you in the next one